New VR games. Well, let me catch you up on everything that came out last week because there was one hell of a lineup of games. And of course, on top of that, we had some fun little bit of news things going on as well. Now, I'm going to give you like a little mini review of all the games that we talk about in this video because I need to let you know whether they are something you should be leaving or picking up. Of course, normally I do these videos on Fridays, but I was away last week in sunny San Francisco looking at things like the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. But that is a story for another day. But before we do that, hey, hey, hey. You know, I would really love it if you'd hit that like button, of course, because it really does help support these videos. And of course, I appreciate the support you always give these dope videos, so thank you so much. And of course, of course, subscribe, because hey, this is a dope channel with dope content, and I would love to have you join me on this epic journey that is talking about virtual reality gaming. Now, anyway, guys, let's dive into our first title that came out last week, Max Mustard. This is the platformer that everyone was waiting for, and I'm honestly, well, it delivered. This game dropped last week and it really is the answer to all the platforming needs that we've needed in virtual reality. Now I am not the biggest fan of platformers as many of you may know and I have spoken about in other videos but I did dive into this one optimistic and open-minded just to see whether I was going to like it, whether it would gel with me or not but I will say this one definitely did. It's a very chill, calm, cute, game. It's kind of got everything you really want out of a platformer, giving you the vibe of something like Astro Bot, but with a new fresh design and skin over the top of it, making it feel like this vibrant, nice adventure that you're going to want to dive into over and over again until you complete it. There is a ton to do in this game. It's definitely worth the money invested into it if you're going to buy it. So make sure you check this one out. Max Mustard is pretty much a must-have if you like platformer games in virtual reality. Next up is Endless Wonder VR. This is a PC VR only title that dropped last week and it's made by like a little indie team and well you can kind of tell it's a little rough around the edges but this game is still pretty damn cool and I don't think you should miss it as it is kind of like one of those um, only up type style games where you're going to be jumping from platform to platform making your way through a bunch of different puzzly worlds as you go through it. There's a ton to do in this one it's actually a really entertaining and fun game so make sure you check this one out if you're looking for something cool just to tide you over then i think you'll enjoy this next up stride face dropped a huge free dlc now we love free because well it doesn't cost any money um but yeah they just dropped a huge new dlc that is coming to your headsets right now so whether you play this on the pc or whether you play it on the quest you're going to get this update for free it is 25 new missions a brand new map and of course some cool stuff to do in there now there's some new characters you're going to be fighting like looking like these sort of bum dudes um and as well you're going to have some new gadgets that you can play with including a wingsuit Wow, I'm pretty hyped to be able to dive into this one. I haven't yet because I have been away, but this is a title I'm looking forward to jumping into and experiencing for myself. Uh, and like I say, this is a free DLC. So if you already own this game, pick it back up again, re-download it, or just play and you're going to get to experience this brand new wingsuit, new area, and 25 new missions. So definitely one to keep your eyes on as well. Pff, damn, dude. I mean, I respect these guys for continually working on a the game. They just recently released like the new better looking version of this for the Quest three support and on top of that now we now have this and the mr mode have all come into it for free so good job joyway keep on working on this game and you know last just fix the goddamn voice acting in this game because it's the it's the only pain point that we have left in stride so other than that this game's pretty dope next up is happy funland this is a game that unfortunately i don't think delivered but let's dive into why? Now I jumped into this game and I'm not the biggest fan of horror games, I'll be honest with you, but it was kind of dull and kind of unfinished and unpolished to a big degree. This actually came out for PSVR 2 and PC VR and well, I'm going to just say it. This is pretty much a leave it in my opinion. It's kind of a soulless game in my opinion. It just doesn't feel like it has a lot going for it. I can kind of tell what they were trying to do with this, but it just didn't deliver in my opinion with kind of low rate jump scares and just, just, man, a lot of monotonous broken e mechanics just not a great experience as a whole if this is something you were looking forward to and you were waiting for my opinion on it. Well, now you have it. I wouldn't pick up this game because it's just not that great. Now we dive into one that I was really looking forward to and it is probably one of the more divisive games because it's a simulator and we all know by this point <laughs> people either love or hate simulator games. Uh, well this is Lawnmower Simulator and it finally dropped for the quest and well 
it's had a bit of a mixed reception. Some people love, some people hate, as was expected. But it's also had another mixed reception in the fact that people were getting a little bit motion sicky while playing this game. I think due to its nature of spinning around and around and around on a motor, and of course, well, you know, the fact that it was having lag spike drops. Well, the developer did address some of these things and I wanted to shout that out in this video as they did do a bit of a patch for this to help with the frame drops. So the frame drops should be no longer an issue if you're playing this game, but nonetheless, still did it scratch the itch that I was looking for when it comes to a simulator game of this nature and well, sadly, just kind of no. There's a bunch to do in this game and they have done a very good job of bringing it over into VR uh, and it is a really a brand new game it's not just a straight port of the original pc version there is a ton of extra stuff that's sort of vrified in this game uh yeah just for me it just really didn't do what i was quite looking for when it comes to well vr simming so yeah this one for me i wouldn't say leave it i would say maybe check it out if you're interested uh you do have the refund policy in place of course but for me it just didn't quite do what i was looking for it to do and last on the list was a surprise hitter for me, Cube VR. Now, genuinely, I was not expecting much from this, and I spoke about it a couple of videos ago, saying that this game was gonna be sort of like a knockoff Minecraft, and basically, I wasn't expecting a whole bunch from this. But my God, I jumped into this, and I genuinely fell in love. I think it might be the best thing that's come out on PSVR 2 in a while, and well, this one is worth investing into, in my opinion. If you're looking for a Minecraft esque type of game in virtual reality that looks stunning has a bunch to do in there and well just utterly relaxing then you are gonna really enjoy cube vr i dived in there with a very open mind just to check this out i bought it with my own money uh, no review codes or anything i just wanted to see whether this one was going to captivate me or not you know and really find out whether it's going to make me put my psvr2 back on as it's been a little while that I've put it on and been not disappointed. I got into there to a absolutely stunning world that you get into. It's kind of like Minecraft with RTX on, and uh, at the same time, there's a bunch to do in there. So you're gonna be walking around, you're gonna be collecting all these different bits of the puzzles, which essentially unlock different things that you can build within the game. That's why you're gonna be able to wander around this environment. There's a ton of really gorgeous animals, and of course, for some unknown reason, deers that if you fire a bow an hour into, fire off like fireworks. Um, there's a lot to keep you going in this. I do think it could do with multiplayer being added. Uh, I'm not sure entirely if it is or isn't, but from what I could see, there didn't seem to be a multiplayer section to this. Uh, but if it did, it would be pretty much an amazing game. Now, I do think there's still some stuff that needs to be done in this, just to refine it just the last little bit, which would be for me, maybe some boss battles, some fun stuff, you know, kind of things that you expect in from a Minecraft-esque game. Now, this game though, still delivers in the sense that <laughs> it really gets your money's worth out of it because it's just simply gorgeous to go into collect harvest dig mine and build out some incredibly cool looking things so yeah this game for me is a hard recommend if you have a psvr 2 and you're really looking to boot it up with a cool game cube vr is one to be looking for much love to all of you guys like subscribe all that good stuff and i will catch you in a pretty action-packed week that we have coming up there's a bunch of good videos so uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled on the channel and i'll catch you in those thanks so much goodbye oh i punched my microphone what a lovely way to end it